It's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks. I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that, without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Must have stopped working a while ago. Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. idea right now. I need to stay frosty. How's it coming? Hey guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. 
I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. What do you guys think about this plan, Achilles? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. All clear in here. Just one more to check. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, the place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents, and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Jesus, what the hell is that? Oh my God. Kinda looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out of here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not 
not again. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna take care of it. I'm sorry, man. I... I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can either. You're right. I can't put you through this again. I'll take care of it. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine. I hadn't found him when I did. from us Lee what's going on I saw someone standing there by the fence watching us a walker no too fast took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him was it a man or a woman didn't get a good enough look what does it matter I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us the guy on the radio I'm fine. I just 
I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we are moving out. We only checked the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Will you search it if you want to? I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place where I we said want. I'm done with this house! We can do both, Ben. You take one last look around the place, grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We can't right now. But you promised we'd go find them when we got here. On the train. You promised. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone. Good. 